Hello CSD and I'm back with another video. Well I have some very exciting news for owners of Nvidia's latest RTX graphic cards and Battlefield fans alike. DICE has made some huge strides on the ray tracing performance on the RTX line of graphic cards. The optimizations give you up to 50% performance increase when ray tracing is turned on. Now ray tracing launched a couple of weeks ago and many fans have been disappointed by the lackluster performance in Battlefield 5 when they had ray tracing turned on. A $1300 card for 1080p 60 frames per second is not what owners expected from their 2080 Ti. DICE is so talented and must be commended for this performance increase, especially only two weeks after ray tracing launched in Battlefield 5. They have fixed the foliage bug that impacted frame rates tremendously and improved performance across the board. DICE released their dev update video today and the improvements are so good that you can now play at over 60 frames per second at 1440p. In my opinion, this is a very good compromise for using this new technology. Now I will leave you with DICE's dev update video so you guys can see and hear about the various improvements for yourself. Now once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Battlefield 5 is the first game to come out with real-time ray tracing. We're targeting specifically real-time reflections, trying to increase the fidelity in them to lead to a much more immersive gameplay experience for our players. We wanted to get ray tracing to players as soon as possible. Since then, we've been working together on optimizations and bug fixes included in the Chapter 1 Overture update. All combined is a big improvement on the performance. It's not only for 2080 Ti, it's also for 2080 and 2070. We haven't changed what the quality levels do for this update. What we do is we increase the amount of rays we shoot in the scene as you go from low to ultra, and also it affects more materials. So we put a lot of research into something we call variable rate ray tracing. This allows us to place the rays where they matter. The red tiles is where we focus the most amount of rays because the underlying material is a specular one. This actually allows us to improve performance and improve quality level and we will make it even better in the future. There are more optimizations on denoiser and filters and we will have more later for sure. For example, you can see this on frozen legs. We are optimizing on GPU and CPU performance for BBH repeats. BBH stands for bounding volume hierarchies. is to help ray tracing to be more efficient and to be faster in triangle intersections. Another thing we've been working on is a bunch of little shader optimizations. Each optimization has more performance throughout the game. In Battlefield 5, we have a lot of destructible objects, and anything that is destructible has a very big performance impact for ray tracing due to a bug. However, we worked with NVIDIA, both on the driver side and in the engine, to fix this bug, which actually allows us to utilize the hardware much more efficiently, and ray tracing is performing much better now. Another issue we addressed is too many rays spawning off foliage, such as leaves and grass, which had a very big performance impact on the game without adding anything to the final visual fidelity. This has been improved for this update. We are just scratching the surface on optimizing ray tracing performance. Real-time ray tracing has only been out for a couple of weeks, and we're super excited to partnership with NVIDIA and deliver the best experience possible to our players. Thank you everyone, and stay tuned for more updates.